Okay, we've explained the basics of using a burette and the fundamentals of a titration. Now I want to actually show you and perform a titration. This titration is actually going to be a strong base. is going to be up here as a titrant. And a, a dilute solution of a strong acid will be the analyte, which is in the Erlenmeyer flask. So what I want to do, first of all, I've done all my rinsing and cleaning. And now I'm going to start adding a very small amount of base to my acid, dropwise, until I start seeing those colors starting to stay just a little bit longer, and then swirl. The other thing I want to continue doing is washing the sides of my Erlenmeyer flask. And you want to use an Erlenmeyer because you want to make sure everything from the burette goes into the Erlenmeyer flask. And one thing I didn't mention earlier is I want to make sure the tip is inside the Erlenmeyer flask so there's absolutely no possibility of any of the titrant not getting into the solution. So again, now I want to start doing just single drops. You can see that pink color starting to last a little bit longer. And what I may almost want to start doing at some point is just doing a partial drop where I now have it on the tip and I'll just tap that tip, gently touch it to the side of the Erlenmeyer and that's what I call a half drop. Wash it all down and I get more of a half drop. I'm going to do another full drop here. And in my haste, I probably overshot just by a tad. Which brings me to the last point. Titration is all about patience. Being very slow at the end, swirling, waiting for that color to stay pure and not disappearing, and doing half drops. But titration is about patience. The best titrants you will get and the best uh, titration curves you'll get is being very patient, adding the titrant to the Allied in the Erlenmeyer flask.